Hey folks, Zach Pope here, lead designer of Trout Routes, and today we're going to be doing a deep dive on map modes, map layers, and base layers. So the whole concept behind Trout Routes is to create these different map modes that make it very easy for anglers to target specific use cases. So what do I mean by that? So for example, let's say you're new to a region and you want to try and find kind of the top most popular streams in an area. Say you're going to Montana for the first time and you really just kind of want to know at a high level where are those top 12 Blue Ribbon streams that, that everyone keeps talking about, the Madison, the Beaverhead, the, the Gallatin. And so that's really what the guide mode is intended for. In guide mode, we color code every stream based on our own quality rating of that stream. Now that's based on several different criteria and it's different for every state, but essentially it's a color coded view of how good the streams are in any given state. And it's really powerful because you can see across the entire country the top streams in the country, but you can also see some of those lesser known streams which are way down at that class three rating. Now for public land in the guide mode, we color code all the land just basic green and we also outline every stream that has public access. So that's guide mode. It's really intended to help you find those good streams in the area when you don't need to know as much detail about the access considerations. So for access mode, it's a little bit different. We really wanted to help anglers target those really unique access opportunities specifically fishing easements. Now, in some states like Wisconsin, Minnesota, even Colorado and Utah, fishing easements or walk-in access is a very unique opportunity for anglers as it doesn't provide as much traffic um, as other areas like state parks or WMAs or SMAs. So uh, we really created this access mode to help you really clearly identify uh, walk-in easements and fishing easements across every state. So in this mode, we color code all the public land based on what type of access it is. So we'll color national parks in purple and state parks in orange, and easements are going to be in purple. And so when you turn this mode on, it's a really cool way to see all the fishing easements or walk-in fishing access in any state across the entire country. Last but not least, we have a new mode called regulations. This is a very powerful new mode where we color code every stream section based on the local regulations and or the local class from that state. So for example, if you are in Michigan, you might be familiar with the type one, two, three, and four, as well as the gear restrictions and the brook trout restoration areas. Whereas if you are in say Montana, there is some catch and release sections. There's also some sections that don't have uh, boats, uh, boating or drifting available, such as the Gallatin. Uh, more, possibly more importantly, is if you're in the East Coast, uh, where there is the delayed harvest sections that are very important. So in each state, again, we're going to color code the sections of the streams based on the class and or the regulation. So if you're in Pennsylvania, you'll see sections that are delayed harvest, you'll see sections that are um, Keystone Select Stock, you'll see sections in North Carolina that are delayed harvest. And in this way, you can target specific parts of streams that are in your interest, such as delayed harvest, such as catch and release only, fly fishing only, etc. So in these three modes, guide, access, and regulations, we feel that we are providing a very cool uh, experience for the mapping experience for the angling, angler. <laughs>